Hello. Today is Saturday, the 25th of August 2018, and I am in Switzerland in the Swiss National Park, or as they call it in French, Parc National Switzer. And I am hiking from Schampf to Chamana Kloza. And I'm about halfway. I am at the highest point along the trail, which is called Fuerca Valsasa, 2,857 meters. And I came from that valley over there. Um, the weather wasn't as good as other times that I've gone hiking, and the trail is fairly difficult. It is a T4. There are numerous places where you have to use your hands to advance. And um, yeah, the wind's pretty strong, and temperature, I, I would reckon it's something along the lines of zero degrees Celsius, but the clouds are making the landscape very, very beautiful, so I decided that I would stop and take some pictures and also create this movie. Um, the, uh, yeah, so we're going down that valley, and I'm probably gonna start down and uh, maybe also take a, like, shoot a little bit, because the wind is very strong on the ridge. So there's, uh, this valley lies to the north, so, so there's still a bunch of snow up there. Uh, but not, nothing to worry about too much. And that point, that peak up there is 3,000 meters, I think. And I don't know what that lake is, but um, it looks very beautiful. So, yeah. I can't believe the summer is almost over. Uh, it's gonna start snowing, I think, in late September, so I have like three or four more weekends left to go hiking, like in summer conditions, with no... And then it's gonna start getting cold again. But yeah, everything's super beautiful out here, and I'm very glad that I took advantage of this weekend. Um, okay, my hands are starting to freeze, so I can no longer feel them. Um, so I'm gonna stop filming here, but you know the drill. So that's the high point where we came from, and um, that is Fuercla at 2,850 meters. And as you can see, we've made quite a bit of progress. We've crossed that bit of fern. Fern is um, snow that survives for more than one year, but that hasn't compacted into ice yet, so you can't call it a glacier. And that's the valley where we're going. Um, that's somewhere there in the valley after you've turned left will be the cabin, but more interestingly I wanted to show you the reason why I stopped is because uh, here by this cairn I found a very interesting flower um, that's quite... I think it's rare in the Alps, it's called an alpine poppy or an Icelandic poppy I'm not sure if it's the same kind of flower, but um, you can see that it fares quite well and these are the seed pods and if we don't do anything, uh, the seed pods are gonna fall down there, and maybe next year you're gonna you're gonna get a new plant. So there's another new plant here, and there's another new plant here. So maybe slowly, slowly, it will colonize this area. And there's a few more plants there, and yeah, very beautiful uh, nature. I'm gonna take a short break because I'm a bit tired. Um, so, according to the weatherman, we have another two and a half hours until it starts raining. But if it starts raining when I'm in the valley, I'm not so worried because um, rain is neutral, like I don't care about the rain. The only thing I care about is lightning. And a lot of people die struck by lightning in the mountains, particularly if they're high and if they carry metal implements with them, like my trekking poles. I mean, they're carbon, but I think they have some metal in there. Um, so yeah, the only thing I want to avoid is see those storm clouds. I do not want uh, lightning in my vicinity. So um, normally, just before a storm, you're going to hear um, some hissing in the air. And that's just the static electricity. And then you might notice... Um, various electrostatic phenomena, like your hairs start uh, standing on end, things like that. So um, I haven't I haven't detected detected any of those yet. So even if 
it does start raining, then it most likely will not um, have lightning. But we will see. I don't. I don't think. Like you can still see the sun, sort of. It's out there, um, and it's shining, but it's just very weak. But I'm not super worried. There's a ton of snow in this valley because it was facing north, and um, and the sun reaches it um, only during noon, so it doesn't melt as it should. Okay, I'm starting to get cold again, so I'm gonna get going again. See you later.